welcome to ATU TV. My name is Dave Gaddy and you're watching Melodies of the Campus. Here on Melodies of the Campus, we shine spotlight on incredible talent and achievements of our student community, bringing you exclusive interviews, performances and insight in the vibrant world of children life. Ladies and gentlemen, we are and we will be your go-to source on anything entertainment on campus and beyond. And yes, this show is probably brought to you by Accra Technical University and powered by ATU TV. Today I have with me in the studios a talented brother and a talented colleague. Yeah, he comes from a background of music. Yes, he considers himself as the fastest rising Afro gospel artist here in Ghana. He is none other than Aben Metal. Aben Metal. Yes. Welcome. Yeah, thank How you. How are you? I'm doing so. You're looking dapper. Thank you. <laughs> now, now, I know who Aben Metal is. For the audience watching that don't know who Aben Metal is, can you tell us a bit about yourself, a little background? Okay, so Eben Metsu is the fastest rising Afro gospel artist from Ghana. I am a Buterian and also mm -hmm. a student of Accra Technical University from the PR department. Yeah. yeah, I've been doing music for the past eight years, eight years now. Eight years now. Yes, and I have over three songs released. The first song is Kodesh, second is Blessings, mm -hmm. the third one is Faster Than Google. Currently on promotion. Okay. Yes. Okay. And they are all on all streaming platforms. Okay. Yeah. Now, a lot of artists they have their inspirations on what drove them to start music or how they sure. discovered their passion yeah. and how they turned that passion into music. What's, what's your story? How did you find music? Okay. I used to be a stammerer. Like, I used to stammer a lot. Mm. So, uh, and I love music. I love singing at church some days ago. Uh, I had a dream that I was singing in front of people, a lot of people. You had a dream? Yes. That everybody was wearing white. And I had asked myself, when am I going to stand in the midst of people to sink? Was it is that the angels or something? So I didn't know how it's going to happen. So um, little did I know that the school I'll be, I'll be going, my high school I'll be going uh, on Sundays. They do wear a white dress to mm. you know to, on doing Sunday service. So I was uh, I think I was the last student to report on campus. So the day I went, I went, I went on Sunday, and the chaplaincy asked me if I could sink. And but said, you were still a stammer. You didn't know you could sing like that. I did, I, I I knew I could sing, but. I to stand in crowd to sing was a problem. Okay. So that day it was like, okay, he'll need somebody to you know, usher the preacher man. There were good singers there, the powerful singers at the school. But I don't know what touched him to say I should come and usher the preacher man. And when I mounted the stage, it was like the biggest artist has come. Everybody they, was. They were just, I didn't know how the, the atmosphere was. And I, I remember I had a dream. So that, was, that was the first time? That was the first time I mounted. That was 2018. 2018. Yes. I mounted on stage and the whole crowd was shaking. Okay. Yeah. You, you describe your, your style as Afro gospel. Afro gospel, yes. And that yeah. style is not like a style that is widely. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. why don't you tell us about it? What so is Afro gospel, gospel music is basically like Afro beats, like African rhythms coming together, lazing them with gospel lyrics. Mm. Yes. So, there's normal beats that the secular people use, the Afro beats. It shouldn't be limited. I don't want to limit it to only the art, like um, yeah. only the, 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 the secular music. So, yeah. we can also. We the, we the gospel can also use it to do our own songs. True. So we are lazing the the um, the Afro beats, the African rhythms mm. with gospel lyrics. Okay, that's it. Okay, well, you mentioned earlier that you are a PR student here exactly. right? from exactly. the liberal studies, yeah. and you're you're also a musician, right? Exactly. So how do you balance your academic academics and your music career? How do you do that? Yeah, that's very brilliant, and it's a very simple question. That's a very simple question, and I this is how I do it. So PR, I'm a PR student, and I'm doing music, so. I don't need the PR to help me do my work. So you did a PR on purpose? Yes. Okay. Because of the music I'm doing. Because of the music. Exactly. Because I don't want a situation where I need to hire a PR to work for me. Mm. Are you getting it? Yeah. So now everything about me is done by myself. Publicity, everything. Everything. Exactly. Are you on any record label? No, not yet. So how do you get your funding? Okay. It's by the grace of God. The grace of God. And by other friends, other colleagues like Felix. Felix. Yes, I will always thank God for his life because he has always been there for me. My first interview on City TV, that was back in 2021 mm. when I was there. Uh, I got stranded and I had to pay my instrumentalist and stuff. Okay. He was the only person I could count I could count on count to on. come and he came wherever he was. So okay. I really thank God for, for his life. Let, let's talk about recognition. You, yeah. you as an artist in your class or in your department, yeah. do you get treated as like everybody else or since you are there's artists then you get this kind of different treatment or what no, 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 like no. For you? nobody gets me any different kind of treatment um, you know most people do not like gospel songs mm. and uh, they see like gospel like gospel artists as uh, they give you the kind of yeah. uh, 
So they don't. A girl, a, a, yeah, like, a girl. I was playing a song. A girl, somebody was playing my song in the classroom, but the girl was like, "I don't like gospel songs." Really? Yes, that's bully. Bully. She bully to you then. She doesn't like gospel songs. Mm. So that's everybody's and his his feeling. But they don't treat you like no. a big something. No, yeah, just, no. They are just treat you like everybody else. Yes, and I, I didn't even like that. Yes, you know what? Then when that when that happens to you in a class, it's a it's a it's threat really to you because your, your class are supposed your academics. To, they are supposed to support you. They are the ones who support exactly. You. I I like this from um, Frank Edward. Mm. From get one of my room, my room models. He went back to school. He studied in the class for the plan. He said they were, everybody was seeing him last there, you know, uh, star star. But when that happens to you, you become it's like your academics is, is also mm. a, a threat because there's some things you can't express up in the classroom. Yeah, now let's just come to class. They're like answer question before they give you mark. Yeah, sure. but you feel like you were starting the class, so you would not have the you know the feel of you no know, answer question. They're like you feel like going as everybody would just be watching you. You get it in our class. When I raise up my hands, everybody just watching me. Mm. They want to know what I'm coming to say because they believe that he has sense. You want to say something sensible. Okay. And at that moment, if you say anything, yeah. yes, it goes against you. Sure. Okay, so there, that's a sweet conversation with Aben Metal. And yes, we are going for a quick break. When we are back, we'll have more. Campus talk show. Uh, yes, I'm here with Aben Metal, and the conversation is getting hotter. Aben Metal, you are here at uh, at ATU, sure, and there's there's a lot of artists here. Do you do you have any connection with other artists? And you know, this is where you can grow your fan base too. Mm. So, is there any plan, or how do you how do you plan on grabbing the attention of the of the school community and growing your fan base? Okay, yes, yeah, so that plan came up this year, and it all dwells in, on money. Okay. Mm. So my new release now, I'm about to get some banners and flyers down, and also um, link up with the SRC president, mm. you know, for us to for them to start putting me on on bills and programs, and also get some flyers and banners on campus. Okay. That's one of the simple ways I want to. So use. what 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 are some of the challenges you are facing now as an artist? Yes, financial challenges and also to grabbing attention of the audience, getting audience is a problem. Mm. Exactly. But you're a PR student, like you said, this mm. shouldn't be a problem for you. It's a, it's a problem because not everybody listens to you. Mm. Uh, not everybody will have interest in what you are doing. Exactly. It will take some time for them to believe in what you are doing. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, um, finally, what, what, what are your, your last words? You'd like to tell the audience watching you, how can they reach out to you if they want to book you for shows? And Yes. Okay, so what I would tell my audience is that I want to encourage them to stream my new release song, Faster Than Google, currently on our streaming platform. It is very costly to put your song on our streaming platform, actually. Mm -hmm. So it is there now, but the only place you can't find is Apple Music, but it's everywhere. It's on Amazon, it's on Deezer, it's on Spotify, mm -hmm. it's on the Audio Mark, it's on Boomplay, TikTok, Facebook, mm -hmm. everywhere. So I encourage them to stream their song and use their song for videos. Okay. For me. Before, you promote before, me, you promote yourself. Sure, sure. Before you go, we want you to do a quick freestyle of, you know, yes, yeah. who wants you to show us where Ben Metal is. Okay, so... I think I'll be singing one of my songs, uh, the new release, first time I'm going to go. Mm. Let's hear it. You raised me high, from grass to grace, these grace to his grace, there is no one else like you. You raised me high, oh, from grass to grace, oh, these grace to his grace, there is no one else like you. You are faster than Google, faster than internet, searching around, there is no one else like you. You are faster than Google, faster than internet, searching around, there is no one else like you. Hello, Ika book, ah, uh, got up my morning star, oh, you made me shine, oh, from the darkness, before I think, oh, you have thoughts, oh, before I move, oh. You have moved, you are faster than Google, faster than internet, searching around, there is no one else okay, like you. Okay, so that, that was that was great. So yeah. for those watching, I would, don't know who Ben Metal is, he has given you a taste of what his music sounds like. So yes, that was a wonderful conversation with Aben Metal.
Yeah, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at um, Accra Technical University Online TV. Yes. So this is where we draw the curtains now. My name is Dave Gaddy. Thank you.